Hey guys, it's Lemming Rush. Today I'm going to be teaching you how I like to play El Haloof in a medium tank. So, a lot of people have trouble with this map, and it's simply because it's pretty badly designed, in my opinion. You've basically only got one flank that you can uh, viably play, and that's going to be the B2 option. If you try to play the south, you're putting yourself below camping TDs. Um, and, and willingly putting yourself below the enemy generally isn't a good option. <laughs> so, uh, there's that. What you're going to notice is I'm going to the B2 flank. I'm going to, I'm planning on shooting heavies as they cross. Our 907 got hit for 750 damage. Um, so you'll see me stopping here. I don't want to be stopped here because I know that there's a grill shooting at us. Um, that being said, if this M46 pan is not getting hit, I feel safe to take the second shot there and I'm able to get an early 600 damage. So sometimes people will go down to here. I wouldn't say that's normal. Like normally you won't find tanks in his position. To be honest, it's not a very good position, so I don't suggest going there. Um, but he went there and I was able to take advantage of it. So our 907 who got hit by the grill, who obviously was in their base, uh, is being very aggressive. Now, I don't like being aggressive right off the bat on this map, especially when they've got tanks like an E5 and we're in mediums. And that's simply because they can just push up and out armor us. So you're going to notice I'm going to continue to sort of stay here. Um, I don't want to fight a hull down E5. So by being in this position, I'm able to provide overwatch for these guys uh, and try to help them out. All right, so here you can see I'm just brawling. I mean, I really don't think this is really necessary to watch. I'm just going to fast forward it. It's me trading shots. What you're going to notice is I'm sort of on the fence about moving up, and still I don't want to really fight a hull down E5. I'm taking the cues from my teammates. If I have more people and I feel we can easily overmatch this E5, I will. Um, you're going to see the SDA2 went wide, and so I'm like, okay, we have that angle. We don't have to worry about these heavies poking on the rear of our back. Uh... That didn't make any sense, but you know what I mean? Like, when you're playing this corner, you really, like, if you're aggressive here, you have to make sure something is suppressing these guys. Our, our IS-4 is doing that. So, basically, we don't have to worry about people shooting us in the side with this IS-4 here. So, I'm able, able to push up, put side shots into the E5, and uh, we can very easily fight a 3v5 or something. Like, we, we can very easily win this fight, so I'm here helping us do that. So as we push through, I'm going to have to be careful. I know they've got the grill in base because he shot the 907 right at the beginning. Uh, even if he hadn't shot the 907, it'd be fairly safe to assume the grill's in the base. You can see there he is. He gets lit. And uh, since he isn't really challenging us, I feel relatively safe to just sort of push onto these guys. You're going to notice that uh, eventually, you know, people start dying and then I just YOLO. So the email dies. I'm like, okay, let's let's just go because I want to, you know, I don't want to get farmed by the grill. So I'll take the lead any second here and then we will get going. All right, so there's the E75. I'm going to shoot the E75 first because he's low HP. You're going to notice I'm driving down because I don't want the grill. Let me pause this. When you're pushing on this side of the map, TDs back here will have shots in you. And sometimes they'll sit on this corner and that'll give them shots on people where the 907 is. So by pushing down, I actually make myself safer safer even though it's a bit counterintuitive because i'm being more aggressive than everyone else's i'm actually safer than they are right now so i do have to watch for that 57 you can see him on the mini map he might try to come clip me out if he's noticed me you can see that grill is on the corner that i was mentioning so he will have shots on these guys as they try to push through but because i pushed down there's no way he can possibly threaten me so um that's why you want to push down if you're pushing just push straight through keep in mind people where this 57 might try to like come shoot you but uh that's how you want to push that side of the map brawling this 57 i mean it's brawling uh i'll play through it though because some people need help with that uh, basically i'm just shooting at the 57 i haven't fully learned how to pen the 57 so you're going to notice uh, I'm sort of inconsistent with it. The SCA2 rams me, and, and <laughs> he honestly, he's lucky he didn't die right there because the 57 looked away. And now we're just going to be able to push onto this IS-4 and E100. I'm going to shoot the IS-4 because I feel like if I have to come wide to... I mean, this isn't logical right here, but I felt like if I had to come wide, I might expose myself to the grill. Um, I, that wasn't the case, but, you know, it's just me being a bit more cautious than I really need to. It also keeps me already safe, so I'm just going to kill this IS-4, and then we can push through and deal with the E-100. Alright, so the IS-4 shoots that pen that bounces his lower plate. Right here, I'm not meaning to block the, the STA, I just assumed he'd go to the right. <laughs> he didn't, though, so I, I ended up blocking him, but I guess that happens. Next, I'm just going to push on to this E-100. STA will run in front of me at the time. I'm lucky I was zoomed out because I think I would have shot him right here by accident if I wasn't. Artie shoots and misses. 
and uh, Grill puts a shot into me. So it's really lucky the Grill bounced there, I'll be honest. What I've noticed is they're in our base, so I need to go back to base. I mean, really I have two options. I can go back to base or I can push into their base. Generally, you don't want to push like directly into TDs when they know you're going to be coming from there. So the Grill could safely assume I'm going to push through the 1-2 line. Uh, and he'd be facing me and whatnot. So I decide not to do that. I decide to go back to base and uh, make sure they don't cap us out. All right, I'm, I guess I'll just fast forward this. The SDA 2 is going after the grill. Not really sure why he's tier 8 tank and he's going after a tier 10 tank alone. Uh, it is what it is. I'm able to put a shot into this bat shot on the move. We're just going to chase him down. Now, one thing I didn't expect is I didn't expect the Tiger 2 to have pushed all the way. You're going to notice I get shot at, and that's evidence that the Tiger 2's right there. I actually thought it was the grill shooting across the middle, but uh, it's the Tiger 2. So, you know, <laughs> I didn't expect him to push through the valley, but he did. So there's that. I'm just going to be able to permatrack him and get the damage right here. Now, I would be worried about artillery, but you're going to notice the SCA-2 has him distracted, so really I don't have to worry about Artie too much. I'm able to just permacheck this uh, Tiger-2, then once he's dead, I'll repair my driver because I don't want him to have killed my driver twice. And now we're going to go after the bat shot and the Artie while being safe from the grill. That's really important. Alright, so Lorraine is crossing. I'm just trying to get a shot into him. He's obviously running away. I missed my first shot. It happens. Now I'm just ready for this bat shot to try to run away. So you can see I'm waiting for him, I'm expecting him to run, I'm aiming pre right there, and I sort of make the snapshot on him. He spots me, so I'm making sure I don't get hit by the grill. I'm going to wait till I'm unspotted, and then I'm going to push up. So right now we're at 6,700 damage, 7 kills. From here I'm just going to push forwards. Uh, <laughs> it's not really the smartest position, like, play for me to be making. To be honest, I should have gone around the north, and then come up the one line or something, but uh, for whatever reason I chose not to. However, I think the way I go about doing this is really smart. You're going to notice I'm using cover, um, and you're going to see right here, I'm going to be able to use these buildings to spot the grill for the Object 140. The 140 is actually moving, but I, I assumed he'd be ready for shots. So the grill's right there. I'm ready for him. Like, people love to snapshot at me for whatever reason. He takes a snapshot, hits the building. He shouldn't have shot. <laughs> I was 100% safe, but uh, because he shot, I was able to get two shots into him, and now I'm just going to push up looking for Artie. So right now we're at 7,400 damage, I'm just going to drive, I don't want to get clicked, that guy's a one shot, so I take the shot, and I track him, the grill shoots, so I'm okay about that, I just want to kill this uh, Lorraine, and now I have to deal with this 500 HP grill, I just picked up my 8th kill, and uh, I do have enough hit points to finish off this grill, I just don't want to get tracked, because if I get tracked, that'll give him enough time to probably, like, yeah, <laughs> rip. So he, he tracks me here, he's shooting, he's reloading. Um, what I was going to say is if like if I was coming up here and he tracked me as I was coming up, he would have enough time to reload before I could kill him because I wouldn't have the gun depression to put my shot into him. So that's what I was worried about. You're going to see he sort of just like YOLOs me here. I don't think he really knows what he wants to be doing here. Anyways, he puts the shot into me, I finish him off, and that's the 9 kill game. So for the map recap, what you're going to want to do in a medium tank on El Haluf is drive to B2, B3. And one thing I forgot to mention in the video is you never want to take the short, like the quick route by going, like shortcutting this. The reason for that is you can even see when you take the safe route, the 907 still got hit by the grill who was like right here. Um, by taking the long route, you make it even easier for quick TDs to get an easy 750 hit points off you. So just take the short route. It's way better. Uh, once you get up to here... What I will do is I will shoot heavies who cross in this game. None of them cross, but it's very easy to hit the people who cross with their side. Um, and then when you feel it's safe, move up to here. Now, when you move up to here, remember, you need to make sure you have people suppressing these heavies right here. Otherwise, they'll just drive around the corner and shoot you for like 500 damage. So in this case, we had that IS-4 who's sitting right here preventing them from doing that. Normally, you'll have people right here. Now, you sort of have to trust these guys to be aggressive enough to, to prevent them. But, you know, sometimes you have to trust your teammates. Once these guys, like once you feel you can push through these guys, make sure you get to, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Make sure you get down really quickly because otherwise this TD will have shots on you if you're playing this ridge here. So you can see I pushed all the way down here uh, to here, got rid of the heavies, and then I just sort of farmed the back of these heavies right here with the SCA2. Now, once you've sort of won this side of the map for your team, you sort of have to decide, 
uh, whether you want to go back to base or not. If you're going to push into the base, this is how I do it. I will come up to here and then I'll shoot, like, I'll come up to the TDs who are always on this corner uh, and I'll be able to brawl with them. Normally what people will do is they'll push the one line. The problem is TDs are ready for that. They will be pre-aiming right here and just shooting anyone who does that. So that's why coming on the, like, outside, I guess, is safer. Um, and sometimes what I'll do, if there's nothing here, I'll just drive all the way over to here and start shooting stuff. You know, you have the options when you go through here. If you push through here, you're going to get fired by TDs. In this replay, what I decided to do is I went back to base. You'll notice I took the safe route again because I didn't want to get lit and farmed by camping TDs who would be in this area. Um, and then once you get into sort of the position, you just sort of fight it out and use, uh, you know, your creativity to outplay the enemy. If you're trying to do you reset the cap you never want to play on this side because these tds will be able to shoot you um so just keep that in mind you need to be sort of on this side staying safe from these tds back here uh once you've sort of cleared this out i mean in this replay i just pushed up the south what you'll find um at the beginning of the game the problem with the south is that scouts will light you immediately so if you're trying to push down this hill you'll get lit right here if they have a scout right here normally end game scouts have moved around a bit they aren't stuck in these buildings anymore and so that's why i was able to use my 62 62 ace camo and you'll notice the grill only spotted me as he was crossing right here so um you know that's a perfect example of why you don't want to go south in the beginning but it's okay in the end game so uh, you can see that works. I was able to use the cover. Obviously, I was positioning myself below the grill, but I did have that 140 who I thought was overwatching me, so it was like a calculated risk. Um, and I mean, that's pretty much the game. So here are the opening positions. Hopefully, I explained how you want to push through. I guess I can go put a screenshot of this in the description for anyone who wants to save it. But what I'll do is I'll go up to here in medium tanks or here um, as I'm pushing through, and then I'll just sort of play it as I go. So hopefully this video is helpful. Let's go take a look at the end plates. Alrighty, so that was a mastery badge, Radley Walters high caliber, and a top gun. 120,000 credits, 5k XP, 8,006 damage, 9 kills, 1600 base. Now this was actually my highest 68, uh, 62a damage I've ever done. So uh, there's that. <laughs> as you can see, I, sh I fired 41 shots, etc, etc. I mean, I ended up almost losing credits and that's just because i ran out of apcr but it happens so uh yeah that was the replay i hope you enjoyed if you have any questions feel free to let me know down in the comments and uh, i hope to see you around later guys Bye bye